Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to get this holiday makeup look perfect for Christmas and New Year's. I will also be announcing my giveaway in this video, so if you'd like to see how I got this look today, just keep watching. Alright, so I got my hair up and I'm going to go in with primer first. I'm going to go in with the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Instant Retouch Primer. This is a light and creamy formula and it is a soft matte finish. So I really like having a soft matte look, especially for the winter. I don't like it too dewy, even though my skin is dry, but I also don't like it too matte. So I love a soft matte look. So I'm just putting this all over my face and it does create a nice and smooth face. For foundation, I'm gonna be going in with the Uma Say What Weightless Soft Matte Hydrating Foundation and I am in the shade Honey Honey T3N. So again, this is a soft matte finish and I like that this one is hydrating and not drying. And it does a pretty good job at covering any imperfections. So I really like that. And I just love this foundation because it gives my skin like a blurring effect. For concealer, I'm going in with the Too Faced Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer. I'm in the shade Warm Beige. I really love this one. It has great coverage. And I do use this shade to brighten my face. So as usual, I'm just putting it everywhere where I want to be a little bit lighter. Okay, and I'm just taking the damp beauty sponge and I'm just blending all of that out, making sure that it blends in super nicely to my foundation. So now I'm gonna set my face. I'm going in with the Laura Mercier Translucent Loose Setting Powder. This one is super cute. It's actually the holiday edition, so it has a rose gold top. So I just take a brush and I put a little bit on, tap off the excess, and then I just brush it all over my face. I've been really into using this as a light face powder. It just makes me look so airbrushed and it looks so pretty in pictures. For brows, I'm gonna go in with the Benefit Precise My Brow Pencil. So I am in the shade 3.75. This is my favorite brow pencil. I'm just gonna take a mirror and brush up the hairs. And then what I do is I lightly line the bottom. I'm really gentle in the front of my eye, but then I get a little bit more heavy on the outer side. And then I fill in like the back half. And then from there, I just use the spoolie side and then I blend in that front part a little bit more into the center. And that's pretty much all I do for my brows. So now I'm gonna go in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Clear Brow Gel. And I'm just gonna add that on top of my brows really quick. This is my favorite brow gel. I just feel like it helps to make everything stay in place. Once this is on, my eyebrows do not move for the rest of the day. So for eyeshadow today, I'm gonna to be using the KKW Beauty Classic Eyeshadow Palette. First shade I'm gonna go in with is this cream shade right here. I'm gonna use it as an all over base for my eyelids. So I'm just putting it all over my eye and making sure I get up here right under my brows. Okay, then I'm gonna go in with this a light brown shade right here. And I'm just going to buff that into my crease. I'm just gonna keep blending that until it looks nice and even. Okay, now I'm gonna go in with this darker shade over here. And I am gonna pick up a smaller brush and then get some of that. And then just put it right in the outer corners of my eyes. I'm gonna make a little V right here. And then just kind of blend that in with what I have. Okay, so now I'm going to add some glitter on my eyelids. So first I'm going to go in with the NYX Glitter Primer. I'm just going to get some of this on a small brush and then just dab it onto my eyelids. I'm making sure it's only where I want the glitter to be. Okay, for glitter I'm going in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Loose Glitter in Flower Child. So I'm just going to dab some of this in the cap and then put the same brush, dab it in, and then just put it wherever I have the glue. Just dab that on. I thought this would be really pretty for the holidays. It's a very neutral glitter, but it has so many different colors in it at the same time. Okay, so I'm gonna add some eyeliner on top. I'm going to be using the Stila Stay All Day Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner in Intense Black. 
So I am gonna be doing a wing. I really like doing a wing with neutral looks. I think it looks really nice. I like to come like halfway through my eyelid. I don't like to bring the eyeliner all the way in towards my eye. I just think it looks better like that on me. I think the black eyeliner with the white glitter looks so pretty together. So I'm gonna do my other eye and then I'll be back. Okay, so my eyeliner is done and I'm gonna go in with a lash curler and I'm just going to curl my eye lashes before I put on my mascara and false lashes. And I just squeeze it a few times and then I let it go. And I've been finding that this has been helping push up my mascara and my eyelashes look so long and it does help even using falsies because it makes your falsies go up instead of out straight and in my opinion they do look a little bit more nice like that and i am going to use a little bit of mascara i'm going to be going in with the lancome once you're big mascara i really like this one it makes my eyelashes long and full at the same time but i'm not putting on too much like i said i'm putting on falsies I'm just making sure I have enough so when I put on my falsies, they will blend in. Okay, for lashes today, I'm going in with the Ardell Mega Valium. These are in 252. So I'm actually going to take some scissors and I'm going to cut off the ends. I would say about one third of the lash I will be cutting off. And I'm going in with my Duo Glue. I'm using the Brush On 2-in-1, the black side. I've really been liking cutting my eyelashes just a little bit on the ends and then gluing them on like that. It just looks really pretty because it blends in with my lashes and they look a little bit more natural. I'm just gonna place that down and then adjust it. Like I said, this method, it just makes such a pretty lash. It blends in with my real lashes and it honestly gives more of like a foxy eye look. So I really love how it's been looking. Okay, so lashes are done. I am gonna add a little bit of eyeliner to my waterline. So I'm gonna be using the Kat Von D Cake Pencil in Trooper Black. So I'm just gonna take this on my waterline. I just wanna add some black. I'm also gonna add some up on my tight line. Just a little bit. And I'm gonna be going back in with my mascara and I'm just adding some on the bottom lashes. I've been doing a lot less on my bottom lashes just because I like them a little bit more natural now. So I don't do too much. All right, we are done with the eyes, back to the face. So I'm gonna be using the Kylie Press Bronzing Powder in Tequila Tan. I really don't want a very sun-kissed look to my face. So I needed a bronzer that was a little bit more light because all of mine are really dark and used to heavy contour my face. But I picked this one up and I've been really liking it because it gives me like a nice natural contour. But I think it's really pretty without being too dark and muddy. Okay, and then I'm also gonna take some on my nose. So like this is a great shade for this. Again, I don't want this too dark and too heavy. So this is also a perfect shade for nose contour. I am gonna add a little bit under my lip just to create a shadow so my lips look a little bit more full. Okay, and for blush, I'm going in with the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Blush in Diffused Heat. I really love this one, it's super pretty, and I use it whenever I want a nice, pretty glow to my cheeks, but I don't want it too dark, or I don't want something too peachy. This is like the perfect shade for like a neutral eye. I like that it's not too harsh and it doesn't come off too heavy just like the perfect amount and the perfect color. And for highlight, I am using the Benefit Cookie Highlighter. I love this one. It's like a pretty champagne color. So I thought it would be perfect for a holiday look. So it's definitely something I would wear to a party. And it definitely stands out a lot. It's very intense. So I really only wear this when I'm getting all dressed up. I am gonna add some to the corners of my eyes just for that extra pop and for lips i'm going to be doing a beautiful bright red lip perfect for the holidays first i'm going to be going in with the nyx retractable liner and this is just in the shade red this one's super creamy and such a great base before i put on my lipstick so i'm just lining my lips and i also like to fill it in a little bit and then i'm just gonna blend it in 
on top of that, I'm going to be using the Dose of Colors Liquid Lipstick. This is in the color Date Night. And I love how this goes on. I love the formula. And as you can tell, it's like a more bright red than the liner I had on. So I love that. The brighter, the better. Also dries so beautifully. Okay, so lips are done. It looks so pretty. But just one more thing, I'm going to be adding setting spray. I'm going in with the Too Faced Hangover 3-in-1 Replenishing Primer and Setting Spray. I've been loving this one lately. It's really nice and it just creates a nice, beautiful, natural glow in my face. And I think it just like melts my makeup together. So it makes it look super pretty. All right, guys, and here is the finished look. I really, really love how this look came out. I think it's so pretty, especially for the holidays. This will definitely be my makeup for Christmas and it also works for New Year's too. So I hope you guys enjoyed this easy, neutral holiday makeup look. All right, now the moment you guys have been waiting for, let's get into the giveaway. All right, so I did promise once we hit 300 subscribers, I would be doing a giveaway and we have reached 300 subscribers. So I can't thank you guys enough for subscribing to my channel and for the continuous support. So I will be giving away this bag. It does have some makeup in it and I did get this bag itself at Ulta. It's brand new, I haven't used it. And the first thing in the bag is this Vise Art Professional Makeup Palette. This is their neutral matte palette. So let me just show you guys really quick what it looks like. I won't open it, but this is what it looks like. I think it's so pretty. It's super neutral, great for everyday looks, and you can do so many different eyeshadow looks with this. I really, really wanted to keep this for myself, but I decided to put it in the giveaway. So also in the giveaway is this mascara. It's called the It's So Big from Elizabeth Mott. It's a volumizing mascara and it is cruelty free. So this will also be in the bag. Next thing in the bag are lashes. These are the House of Lashes in Bajor Mini. And I just think these are super cute, pretty for just a nice, simple lash. Fourth thing in the bag is a NYX Butter Gloss. This is my favorite gloss. You guys already know I have so many of these. This is in the color Praline. It looks a little dark on the outside, but I think it's a little bit lighter. It's more of a mauve color. I hope you guys really like this one. I love the formula. And the last thing in the giveaway is a Juvia's Place highlighter. It's a loose highlighter. And let me just open this really quick, show you guys what it looks like. So this is the packaging, so pretty. And it's a loose highlighter, like I said. It's like a pretty nude champagne color. It looks super pretty and super shiny. So if you love a nice and bright highlight, I think you're gonna love this. I'm really excited to give one of you guys all of these goodies. I will put the rules to the giveaway somewhere on the screen as well as in the description. There are four things you have to do to win this giveaway. One is to be subscribed to my channel. Two is to like this video. Three is to turn on your notification bell so you get notified every time I post a video. And four is to comment down below your favorite thing to do during the holidays. So to be entered this giveaway, you must do all four of those things. The giveaway does end December 31st, so you must do all of these things by then to be entered. So good luck to you guys. I'm really happy to be doing this giveaway. And again, thank you so much for all the support. All right, guys, and that is it for this video. I hope you all enjoyed. I hope you all and your families have a happy holidays, and I will see you guys very soon. Bye.